having saved now the world, he's big Snake boss. was held a true hero and given the title Big Boss. Then Snake disappeared, and then the other thing happened, right? Yeah. Peace Walker, not Peace Walker, Portable Ops. Yeah. What a treat that was. It was pretty good. Especially that last boss. I mean, once we got we him gotta... on the first try, by the way, reader. <laughs> we'll find out when YouTube video comes up. Always reaches the washes the vods. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is where he starts wearing trench coats and shit. Yeah, um, until he learned the movements, and then that was that pretty much cut it. We got close though. Still at the end. I mean, he is also kind of RMG. I watched the speed run and It's our soldiers that we recruited! Dude, we're just constantly doing the charge attack. That looks like them. Yeah. This is leading into Phantom Pain really well, by the way. Like, oh, you know, he's all about, like, Building up these people. Why does he have the snake star now? I don't triple that pass. I mean, he doesn't look hey, that well. Hey, boss! Wanna go around? Easier to do everything in this. Look alive, ladies! The boss is gonna I join us. Start. Show them how it's done, boss! I start with a boss. Your first priority it. in enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you are looking I think we, and we, how we, fast we, you can identify your target. Therefore, you must first master you. moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the camera buttons. Oh now, my god, the camera order, buttons? Look in that direction. In real life? <laughs> look up! Good! Look down! Good! You should be familiar with the up and down camera buttons now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. <laughs> okay! Next, we'll check your left and right. Look right! Good! Look left! Good! You should be familiar with the left and right camera buttons now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Why am I naturally doing that? All right, we'll go over left and right with the camera. Hold on, one whoa, more whoa, whoa. I'm doing it inadvertently. Like, look right. So, in a first-person shooter, looking right Good. is. Look left. Okay. Good. It just it the way. I don't know. I'm going like retarded here. Right <laughs> My, I got like like dicky eyes or something on. happening. Okay. You can change I mean, the controls. I don't know. It just looked option. weird to me. When, Go with the I was going to respond to Reader. Oh. Next, I'll explain I mean, yeah, technically sure. we, we do have the, uh... If you just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well, well, well kill yourself now! At times, you, you will like, need to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances. You never do the neck Stand, exercise? crouch, and no. lying down. We always have to ask all of that. Use the crouch button. Tap the crouch button to change between standing and crouching. I just remember. You can move in either stance. Hold the crouch button and keep it held to lie Crouching? However, you cannot move while you are lying down. I'll Holy say that shit. again. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? No, it's not. Yeah. You can crouch now. So I can but crouch you've now. Sacrifice. But I can't. Why? Good. Why is this? Why is no, this? Hold it. Work on your movement. Use the analog stick to move around. <laughs> Tilt it a little to walk slowly. Tilt it further to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful! Uh. 
Good! Now we have rolling! Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way yeah, and for getting away when surrounded! You can also use it to jump over small ditches and other obstacles. To roll, tap the attack button while running! You got that? Tap yeah, the attack button while running. Right. running! Don't forget it! What the fuck is that? That's it. <laughs> Next, the fuck I'm going to how to attack without gunfire. You may run Nobody. into an enemy unexpectedly. <laughs> you may not have a weapon on you, or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack strategy. One well placed strike, <laughs> and the enemy so won't know what hit him. Uh, to strike an enemy, uh, press the attack button the while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. Don't to get fucked up, son. I mean, to be fair, that is how they act in Phantom Bane, too. Like, these guys are all about getting their ass beat. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a no million and a half volts. Your base for shit. Anyone on the receiving end of that is guaranteed to be out cold. To use the stun rod, press the aim button to ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. Prepare yourself for stun rod training. Go! What? I'm ready, boss. R. <laughs> yeah, like... yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine work, boss! Now we'll move on to CQC. Said marks. Why did he? CQC. He, he was for close it. quarters combat, <laughs> <Sorry. the> first <laughs> when engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. It is a quick and efficient yeah. way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Pretend you Literally. are learning it for the Can't first fucking. time. The Can't first crawl anywhere now. Is throwing your opponent. To do this, position yourself near your opponent really and press the attack at, button like, while you, you tilt the analog stick. I saw that. It was like <laughs> pretending he was dead or something. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. Go. I did that one earlier. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Fine work, no, boss. <laughs> Next, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. This is a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there is up to you. I wonder who this is Just know to be. that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most hair. likely yeah, pass out. Something Kinda to keep in it. mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponent on my command. Go. I'm ready, boss. Maybe they all got long hair. <laughs> Fine work, boss! Now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the analog stick when you have them restrained. Yeah. <laughs> Restrain your opponent and throw them on my command. You're way behind. <laughs> I'm ready, boss. Yeah, we're not dropping. Impressive, boss! Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy opponents. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then tilt the analog stick to throw them. By tilting the analog stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. This On my command, cool. restrain and then throw your opponent. So you can throw them Go. forward as well. I'm ready, I'm ready, boss. boss. Uh, that is incorrect, boss! Yeah, well, he... he kept walking. That is incorrect, boss! Uh, that is incorrect, boss! Okay, hold on. Help the analog while restraining the opponent, boss! Uh, that is incorrect, boss! All right, just uh, I'm never going to use work, that. Boss. That is never going to be used, except for on accident. Go. I'm ready, I'm boss. ready boss. That is it. 
incorrect, boss. That, that's cool, though. The combo. That is incorrect, boss. Fantastic. All right. Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward. Don't hold back, boss. When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, I'm boss. Ready, boss. <laughs> Again! Go! I'm ready, I'm boss. Ready, boss. Fantastic! And stop! That's it for today! Thank you, boss! I like getting to the upper levels of the uh, Far Cry. Snake! Snake does not look good in, <laughs> in this one. <laughs> going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry. It's not our friends from Langley. So this is a new guy. I brought him. Made sure we won't fall. Is that not fall? You think the save is Roy. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Big Boss? Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Yeah. <laughs> that ass whooping from Snake Eater really did a <laughs> number on him. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. That sounds like Roy. That sounds like the voice from, uh... So, what brings a distinguished scholar on. from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA? As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar, Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology that you will fight any foe. 
please. You must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An so offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you so must we'll... help us. If your Weird. suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. Thank you she for came to me Jean, to study peace. Her name oh. is Paz. Did he really die? Paz Ortega. I mean, Paz. as far as we know. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. A town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Oh. My God. She's Huerfana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She... Uh Country. Make them leave They're Costa Rica. Like I forgot Sorry. the D-pad. We know who you are. <laughs> I forgot the D-pad was was that to the other one. Was come to you. There are um. What are they called? Quick time events. Okay. That's all. I mean, I could have probably told you that. Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. Use the analog stick to move. Use the directional buttons to change view. Back here. To change your setting, That's real fucking use the shaky, isn't it? To open the menu. <laughs> There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and shoot. To select a weapon, hold the circle button, then hold the R button. Then what use the left fun? and right buttons to make your selection. Ready your weapon with the R button. Then press the square button to fire. How about a little oh. shooting practice? Try hitting a coconut. Perfect. Okay. 
got the coconut? Around the indicator. Oh, okay. <laughs> the thing that we had last game, but it's an actual item now. Got it. <laughs> How do you just? The facility you're headed for is past that fence. A grenade should be able to take out that gate. Grenades explode. Triangle. You Reload. throw them, snake. Use the R button to ready throwing weapons. Once you're ready, hit the square button to throw. When using throwing weapons, hold the attack button down longer to throw you farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Oh my god, that's... I see that there's a percentage here telling me the camos. Oh, that's how you turn on auto, ain't it? <laughs> Aimbot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Miller. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, I'm pretty sure Mi Miller sticks around, uh, I think. Break into the mercenary business for real. But I wonder what happened to Campbell. Let me guess. Because they're not the same person. For her. For her? You mean the boss? Maybe Eva? This is four years after. <clears throat> so what, we're 45 years old now? Like Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant. A place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. But we it's not Campbell, need a right? a place to stay, guys. No. We're nomads. No we always no will be. Yeah, I understand that, but you well, know, all the code you'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's I mean, fighting at the time? Say, the second we settle cars. down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. What's up with his name? Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war He's here. Not it. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. The lighter hasn't worked. Come on, once. Kaz. I know. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Master Wait a sec. That would mean our friend, the professor, is okay. likely KGB. They just look the I same. See. And like, kind of have the same voice thing going on. An enemy of our homeland. But that could just be the art style and shell no shading. Back. Ah, Names mean something light. in this game. That's why. Huh? Or in this Put series. Put on some coffee, cause it's time for a little chat with the professor. a heavy smoker when I got my medal from the secretary general he gave me this prosthetic hand as well but smoking was ruining my lungs so I quit this is where snake got I've the not idea. had much use for it since it's quite an honor to meet the legendary big boss that's just a code name the CIA made up then perhaps I should call you John <laughs> or Jack. I don't Jackie John. You stopped using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet. Neruda. 
Central America is the navel of the American continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then, drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not Why so can you lucky. do this? Why were they attacked? Hidden things? I believe this will help explain. Maybe. Perhaps they saw something they weren't 69. supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this oh, during her escape. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> she says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? It's a, Sony a portable cassette stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. <laughs> a Walkman. Uh, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. literal machines of monsters shooting nukes and quickly being in this, this like cassette tape. <laughs> Revolutionary. What is that? A quetzal? The phoenix bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Poisonous. I need to get rid of it. I chase it back to its nest. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's all... Many people... I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Oh, is this like... Voice print analysis confirms oh, that shit. this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. What? Ow. The other hasn't been identified. Sure, her body did disappear, Female dude. I don't know. Thirties with a British accent. The song. The flowers changed the colors and then they changed back, didn't they? Nineteen seventy-three. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? I. I am loyal to. Boss is alive in Costa Rica. Yeah. 
As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. I start crying now. Oh, he's getting PTSD. He's like, he's gonna take all my guns away. Oh, no, I just put all those guns back together. Well, oh. What'll it be? My patch. Will you take the job? Snake, it's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Snake? Oh. I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. Okay. For peace, then. I mean, it's got pretty decent graphics. There they are. Compared CIA to Portal Marks. World. Snake, you've got I mean, to I think it's comparable. Avoid but, um, what I don't like is the camera shake. And yeah, the camera shake sucks. But, I mean, the colors are a lot more poppy. Or in, like, Portable Ops, everything was basically gray. Yeah. It was all gray. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to... <laughs> I'm very confused. You. Get out of there. Uh, is there not a negative? We can't spare reinforcements. You'll have to make do with what you have. Oh wow. That's gonna be fucking terrible. Every time you do that it knocks off a uh, star but still just on a Stay sharp. Star? Oh. Yeah, you just won't go ah. I don't. <laughs> he doesn't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. HQ, come in. This is HQ. This is oh. oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> Just keep dropping shit. Okay, so auto aim not happening. Start talking. Yeah. The so fuck was that? He doesn't talk. That, that was his talk. What the? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you got laid the fuck out. It looked like that was uh, supposed to build on strength. I'm assuming because it it said SPM. I don't know, but like it's. I mean, we'll we'll know after this shit. Also, this doesn't actually pause the game, I don't think. Uh, it doesn't sound like it does. So we got area map. I think there's a guy right there, though. Doesn't look like he's moving. Uh, we got region map. Oh. We're pulling out. Box. Cardboard box? What are you gonna use that for? Shut up, Millie. A bigger cardboard box might be able to fit two people. Select from the equipment. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think this box had originally in it? <laughs> Uh, man, one of those bicycles. You know what one? Yeah, yeah. Enemy <laughs> attack. Understood. Dispatch.
dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Wonder where these extra guys are coming from. Uh -oh. Dumb. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's like getting down the basics, but you know, not having common sense. Move was clutch. <laughs> yes, sir. We broke him. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. <laughs> oh, shit. I Cargo, where's it headed? What is it? Yep. You're so you could have said something. In though. the mountains. I mean, What's like, up yeah, there? You're to be that. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand why. Right I threw him right there. It's hard to tell. Is that a metal gear? What if it's Alyssa? <laughs> Old dead Alyssa. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure Old game comes this back. Snake. So. Kaz, can you hear me? Loud and clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Kaz, this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Mm. The radio okay. man is wearing one. Yeah, how are we supposed and to know that? To it's in black and white. I mean, it's in crudely Wait, gone. That would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy mother of God. More nukes. It's always nukes. Always. It's becoming a lot like Resident Evil. Every game ends in a bomb. Okay. Still on A, right? Yeah. That's a... Uh... A lot of the experience needed for a single level up. 
Oh yeah, it is. Thought you'd have more in... Oh, yeah, you got the most in, specifically, the MK-22. Yeah. But where's the other stuff? Like, stealth. That's weird. No, not a thing. I got an 8 out of 10 interaction bonus. Which is good. <laughs> I got a 4 out of 10. Because <clears throat> you didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> yeah, I was holding R. <laughs> well, like, I don't want to watch the cutscenes. And it wouldn't okay. let me skip. More specs. When heaven's here. 